First things first when making a larger meal. Get things out of the way that can be done the night before. So I'm making potato salad from the night before. And it's pretty simple. Just cube potatoes, boil them for like 15 minutes. Don't make them mushy. Get your vegan mayonnaise, paprika, black pepper, relish, and spicy brown mustard. I don't really measure when I put them in. It's just, I like to have a lot of mayonnaise. Make sure it's not dry and make sure that there's a good amount of spicy brown mustard and relish. Usually people put eggs in them, but I'm not putting eggs in them for this recipe. Just mix it together, put in a container, sprinkle paprika on top, and put it in the refrigerator for the next day. So the next day, focus on the thing that takes the longest time. Now I have this large, large butternut squash. It is huge. This is the last butternut squash on the shelf in the store. And it is just funny to me how big it is. It's, look at that, I can't even lift it up all the way. So I'm not cutting it because that takes a lot of effort. So I'm just going to put it in the oven for 90 minutes. So I'm trying to poke holes in the sides. And this is funny to me the way the knife got stuck because that's how thick it is and that's how hard it is to cut, which is why I opted not to cut it. You just put the whole butternut squash into the oven on 400 degrees. Nothing special needs to be done except for making sure you put holes in them because it's good to have some ventilation for it. I don't know what would happen if you don't poke holes in it, but it probably would not be good because the juices need to run out. So you don't need to put anything on it. Just place it in the oven after poking the holes and 400 degrees, 90 minutes. Next, when there was about 30 minutes left on the timer for the butternut squash, I took out this Trader Joe's turkeyless loaf. Uh, I made it thaw in the refrigerator, refrigerator overnight, but it said 24 hours. So I just wanted to take it out and put it on the table to let it thaw out a little bit more while the squash was in the oven because this was next up to go in the oven. Now, back to the squash. After 90 minutes, it came out and you see all the juices that I was talking about before, they came out as well and you see the color that is on the squash and it's softer and easier to manage at this point which was the entire objective so just like that you can take a knife and cut it easily better than before voila magic look how pretty it is oh i love squash so yeah i scooped out the inside of the squash because this is going to be like my mashed potatoes basically my substitute since i'm already having potato salad i don't want to have another potato on my plate so i have the squash and it's kind of creamy like a mashed potato i did salt and pepper mixed it together and put it aside now back to the loaf so for the turkey list loaf they give instruction to about 45 minutes in the oven and the gravy comes in a little pack where you just have to pour it into a pot and warm it up. So meanwhile, the loaf is in the oven. I sauteed kale, just a large amount, as you can see in this pot with garlic powder and ginger powder. This is gonna be one of my sides. So you just get that done. It takes like five minutes to do some kale, but this was a lot, so it took a little bit longer, maybe like eight minutes. I also started my macaroni and cheese while the loaf was in the oven. I have a whole video on how I did macaroni and cheese, so I'll just link that, but I use that type of style. So the loaf came out the oven and it's all finished, so it's time to plate up everything. And I'm using the snowman plate that I have because A, it's getting closer to Christmas and B, it's large, <laughs> large enough to hold all this food, Mr. Snowman. So starting with the loaf and the gravy, just pour that on there and just pack everything onto the plate. You're not even going to see the snowman when it's finished. That's how much food is going to be on the plate. That's the objective here. I was getting so excited as everything is going on the plate because, oh, I was ready to dig in. I don't eat like this often, just, you know, once a year. So I'm ready to dig in. The cranberry sauce that I use is just this bottled cranberry sauce from Trader Joe's. You can scoop it out as is. You don't need to warm it up or anything like that. So 
This is the plate, the Thanksgiving dinner. Beautiful, delicious, succulent, flavorful. I paired it with a Riesling white wine. Cause I think that went really, really well with the flavors. So I had a glass of white wine dug into this plate and I was so full. I was like hanging off the chair at the end of this. <laughs> oh, mission accomplished.